Hi everyone, I'm Supernova Nana, and today is Tuesday, April the 14th, 2020. And most of us are aware of the Passover, crucifixion, and the resurrection. However, now we are still facing of the COVID-19, which is bringing to life much destruction. It reigns on the just and unjust. So I wanted to give you this video of awareness in respect to agreeing through these doctors to what we should do and be careful of because there are some of the things I have been doing even before this information and I can agree with. It seems simple enough. Put a mask on to help protect yourself and others from coronavirus. But how, where, and when do you put it on and off so you're not potentially spreading the virus? As soon as you walk outside the house, you have to consider this surface of your mask to be contaminated. That's Dr. Susan Sweeto. She spent her career at the National Institutes of Health. She's troubled that Americans have been told to wear masks, but not how to properly use them. I've seen people out in the store like this. They want to talk so that people can understand them better. Very nice, very social, completely ineffective. So what's the correct way to use your mask? Let's say you're driving to the grocery store. You put it on before you leave the car and you don't take it off actually until you get home. You can wash your hands, get the mask out onto a surface that it can be sanitized and then wash your hands again. If your mask is washable, Sweeto says, wash it in soapy water and dry it. If it's disposable, but you don't have any to replace it, then you can put it in a 170 degree oven for at least half an hour. So 170 degrees won't burn the, the, you know, the paper or the fabric, but it will sanitize it. Chances are, if you're coming home wearing a mask, you were probably at the store. Sweeto says, leave your shoes at the door and head straight to the kitchen to take off your mask and sanitize. When you get it in, choose a surface that can be sanitized, unpack your groceries, and then sanitize every uh, thing that you've brought into the house before you put it away in your clean cupboard or your clean refrigerator. She says if you don't have a commercial disinfectant to wipe things down, you can use 70% isopropyl alcohol, that's just rubbing alcohol, or a mixture of four teaspoons of bleach in a quart of water. The most important thing, I think, for all of us is just stay home. You know, if you, if you run out of milk, you run out of eggs, there's other things that we can eat for the next week. This video was presented from Fox 5 News, and I thank them on my behalf. And now, okay everyone, please be safe and take care of families as well as yourself. And truly, don't perish yourselves for a lack of knowledge in this Passover time as well as tribulation time. Thank you. May God be with all of you. And may we learn to go back to family sharing and values and close doors. For charity begins at home and then extends abroad outwards. Please be safe within. Thank you. Please don't forget to subscribe.